What is going on my broskies? My name is Totski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and in this video we're going to be having a look at the other debuting Super Sugo that came out with Big Mom being Lauren Kidd which is the character that I think most people wanted to get their hands on at least um, in the community a lot of people really enjoyed the fact that Lauren Kidd were receiving a character despite the fact I think Big Mom is a better unit overall but I'm actually just going to go ahead and just try and show him off today and we're going to be using him in a free spirit team now I don't know if this is the optimal the most efficient way to actually utilize this character's abilities because on paper this character seems pretty good but it's about finding place for him in certain squads so let's go ahead and break down what this character actually does before we show some clips of this guy so law and kid obviously there are dual units that don't classify as a color or a typing they're just going to be free spirit and driven and that follows into their rumble ability giving free spirit and driven six attack six health and six speed and then as well as a really nice effect here driven and powerhouse enemies level five attack down level five defense down and that is a permanent ability which is so good so as long as they are on the field your driven and powerhouse enemies get severely nerfed they do less damage to you and you can melt them right in theory that's how it's supposed to work so move on to their rumble special 35 ct is incredibly high but the effect furthermore gives driven and powerhouse level 5 defense down for 20 seconds 50 percent chance of paralysis for 20 seconds and then three high hp targets 3.7 times damage so he's guaranteed to hit three enemies which is strong he does only target the high hp enemies which is both a good and a bad thing because what it does is is that it means that he isn't going to KO a lot of characters a lot of the time because he's targeting characters that have high HP. So this means that there are still opportunities for the opponents to come back at you with their specials if you, you know, fail to knock them out. But at the other side of things, he does also apply further defense down to Driven and Powerhouse, which means that your other characters on your crew should be able to do even more damage against enemies that are either Driven or Powerhouse as, you know, providing level 5 defense down with the special, level 5 defense down with the Rumble ability, level 10 when you apply it together. It's, it's, it's pretty solid, right? In theory, this does sound pretty good. Uh, the behavior pattern is stock standard, targeting closest enemies, and then completely evades special bind, which goes in tandem with their switch effect in their normal kit, as well as 30% damage reduction against driven and powerhouse enemies. So this character is interesting in that you can use them in a free spirit team, or you can use them in a driven team. And I think that there is a case that you could make that they could be used in either of those squads. I think that there is there is a time and place to use a character such as this so let's go ahead and try and use him today in pirate rumble as i said today we're going to be focusing on a free spirit team definitely with the release of john bart you could probably build a solid driven team around that as well unfortunately i don't own that character but eventually in the future we'll see what happens but without further ado let's get into the video so all the clips in this video are all pre-recorded and I'm just going to just talk over each of them as I went. So I've got four different clips here, all against challenge difficulty single matches in Pirate Rumble. So normally, yeah, we could go ahead and just play in normal matches. But the thing about the single matches is that, you know, they're kind of just teams you can't naturally build and they have very high statistics. And uh, this is a really good opportunity to showcase what Law and Kid can do against Driven and Powerhouse. And that's the best scenario for Law and Kid is to to use them against teams that have heavy usage on driven and powerhouse as that enables the rest of your crew not only law and kid themselves but allows the rest of the crew to do so much damage towards them so we've got the zor on the team i was doing some testing with v2 rayleigh but rayleigh only really gives you a lot of defense when his health is quite low whereas zora will naturally give you a lot of defense and despite the fact that i would have loved to have had that on the team it is what it is but you see law and kid doing pretty heavy damage there on that first special which is awesome to see and of course as time progresses it, it does do a lot better so you see the Yamato here doing the halving of stats luckily Luffy and Yamato can actually resist half stats but it's still going to be annoying an annoying thing to deal with half stats is just really threatening no matter what team you abuse and luckily we still able to pull through here 
Sanji's still a very solid unit. He's got such a good rumble ability, and his special is really nice for this team because we don't have, like, the highest special CT here. You know, we've got Otama on the front line, which can give quite a lot in the early stages here. Luffy Yamato starting to apply pressure there too, which is good. But Sanji being able to reduce the special CT of your free spirit units is incredible incredibly powerful so it's, it's always a really nice thing to have you know Sanji is just a very very good rumble unit and a very very good unit in normal content as well so we're getting towards the uh, later stages of this game and even though Law and Kid are you know kind of like what we want to showcase here uh, the thing is is Luffy Yamato are kind of just the heavy beat sticks of this team you see Law and Kid here bang just hitting with so much damage even you know he only targets characters that have high HP remaining and he just hits like a truck against them because of the such heavy defense down that he applies to those units it's very very nice all right so we're getting towards the end here the opponent does still have one unit to come off of the bench, and Gecko Moria, just such an annoying unit. I don't know what they were thinking with this unit. Moria is such a phenomenal <laughs> rumble unit, man. Um, but, you know, he just keeps applying those half stats, but luckily Luffy Yamato can resist it. Uroga is kind of dead weight for my opponent here because it isn't really doing anything. He only really targets Psy characters with his special, so luckily that's not going to really be providing too much for my opponent there and then we can come in with Luffy Yamato and get a pretty swift victory from that point onwards so we'll go ahead and move on to the second game of the video <laughs> Game number two is going to be against the Quick Challenge, which is focusing on Driven and Powerhouse, which has Blue Jam and Porchemi. And of course, you know, we wanted to showcase Law and Kid against Driven Powerhouse, and this is one of the best ways to do that. The entire team is Driven and Powerhouse. And look, Quick are not really the most threatening team out there. You can quite easily build a very, very solid Dex team, just like what we did in a previous video on the YouTube channel, where we built a team using the new Super Sugo Fest exclusive Big Mom who's just a phenomenal unit. Make sure to go ahead and check out that video if you haven't done so yet. But being able to use Lore and Kid and absolutely melt through this opponent's defense is pretty impressive, I must say. Uh, just all of the effects from his Rumble ability and his uh, Rumble special, which, as we've already touched up on, not only allows him to hit really hard, as you'll see here, bang, just <laughs> over 10k damage to three different units. You love to see it. But then also you've got Luffy Yamato, which can fully abuse the fact that my opponent has like level 10 defense down across the board and then Luffy Yamato which targets all enemies just hits like a truck bang and then just getting rid of all those characters and then Sanji is only two characters left on the field he can just wipe those off the face of the earth and then it brings on the entire bench and at this point my opponent's in a bad spot and we're able to get a very very swift victory I think a lot of the quick driven powerhouse units are very good but when you've got such heavy ways to nerf and debuff these characters, there's just not a lot that the opponents can do to really combat that. So due to the success of the first clip of this video up against the Int Urogue team, I wanted to trial it out against the Apu team, which I do believe this team is slightly better um, in terms of uh, like a more difficult opponent. You've got a really annoying front line. You've got Killer, you've got Kid, Mori is still on the front line, but also Uta, a very scary proposition to deal with. But of course, once again, we've got the really good abilities of Lore and Kid, which is the whole point of this video. I wanted to showcase what they're able to do against a squad like this. Now, if we're thinking like a normal free spirit team hypothetically if you replace law and kid with something like v2 odin or um odin toki or you could use roger um you know there's lots of different replacements for uh law and kid but after using this team in in this way i actually really like what law and kid provided here and i do think that you know moving forward into even grand party sense if you're up against a really heavy driven powerhouse focused team 
then Lauren Kid is not a bad option to use against squads like this. And you do see that we're getting quite a lot of damage inflicted to us early. Obviously, you had Otama getting knocked out, which is obviously not ideal. You want to keep these characters on the field for as long as possible. Half stats is still very annoying to deal with. Killer doing huge damage to us, reversing our specials, and then all these characters just launching their specials before we're even getting a chance here. And at this point, I'm just like, okay, well, we got pretty bad luck. I wanted to see maybe can we come back and we start launching some specials. I mean, we've already got quite a few knockouts against the opponents, but this is pretty threatening stuff for my opponent, Zora, our defensive beast being knocked out. And even like Luffy Yamato barely surviving on hardly any HP. We really need them to launch another special for us to really get any sort of, uh, you know, foothold on this game at this point. Uh, we don't have any specials really ready to go. I mean, like, Rebecca Toy Soldier can do something here. Um, so they will do decent damage, and the defense down is kind of nice, but they are inflicted with half stats, which is why I was a, a little bit frightened about what they were actually capable of doing. Luffy Yamato missing another chance of a special. Sanji coming in, which to charge the special. So Luffy Yamato will be able to go, but we just need them to come back around to actually hit the front and launch their special. And luckily for us, we are capable of doing that, I believe. Yeah, so you Rogue using their special, and then Luffy Yamato will be able to get us the victory for this very, very tight finish. And then the final clip is going to be against the strength team. And this is a pretty solid looking strength team. I mean, the bench is quite threatening, especially with Odin. I mean, it's kind of surprising that Odin isn't on the front line. But I mean, this uh, this front line of my opponent having Kuma as well as Kid, very, very scary. They've also got Jack for health cut. So uh, the, the big highlight here is to make sure that Kuma and Kid get knocked out as soon as possible because if they start launching their specials doing damage through defense that's going to be very hard to combat. Uh, luckily for us we are capable of doing that and that's that's the whole point of this is uh, being able to debuff them quite heavily so that they're very squishy so that the rest of our team can do very solid damage against them and you do see Law and Kid they are ready to go they're about to launch their special how much damage do they do? Bang! That's <laughs> actually a pretty solid amount of damage, as well as Luffy Yamato getting that victory against those units. You know, you know Lauren Kid doing a lot of damage towards them from the front line, and then you can come in uh, with some of your other units to surround them to, to finish them off, you know, after their defense is, is nerfed quite significantly and they have a little bit of damage taken away from them. So even though we actually got quite a lot of units that were KO'd in this, uh, in this clip here, we're still able to hold out a victory, which is so good. So overall, I, I feel like my opinion on this character has changed. Initially, I wasn't really a big fan of this unit because I just wasn't too sure if this character really had a place on Free Spirit teams. But I think in this scenario, if you're up against an opponent that is running heavy, heavy driven powerhouse units, then they're a very solid option for allowing your other characters around Law and Kid to actually melt through the opponent's defense. So I think it's a really solid option that you have for Free Spirit, and Free Spirit are pretty much up there with being the best team in the game right now in, in terms of Pirate Rumble. Really, really scary to come up against. So do be cautious. If you see Lauren Kid, do not use Driven or Powerhouse against them because you're going to regret it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video though. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.